Okay, I've been asked for a long time to do some showing of this particular guitar. This guitar was made in Walcottville or Torrington, Connecticut, somewhere around 1852. It was made by a wonderful English luthier named James Ashbourne, who also made these tuning pegs. It's a wonderful, wonderful old guitar. And there are quite a few of them out in the world because uh, somebody gave me the number of somewhere around 6,000. Uh, between 1842-ish and 1860-something, uh, Mr. Ashbourne made a huge number of guitars in different woods, but all exactly the same size. There are some amazing parts to this instrument, like the the way it's put together at the heel and also the way it's put together up here. There's a spline, if that's the right word, where uh, this piece of wood is really joined, great joinery, to um, uh, the neck proper. So it meant he could use much thinner pieces of wood because this only has to be as thick as this because he's adding this other piece by joinery. Um, I have never had tuners that worked as well as these do. They're just amazing. Okay, I'm hoping there's enough light showing this in my uh, looking at the camera. It just doesn't look like it's showing it, but I've done this before and it's always surprised me that it looks much better than it looks when you're doing it. Anyway, so this is a James Ashbourne guitar. This particular one, if I can read it, is First and Pond and Company. First Pond and Company. It doesn't say Hall on this one. Uh, and it says New York. Okay. Oh, and this particular one is a mahogany guitar. Um, this guitar was in um, pretty rough shape, and my friend uh, Dave Oakes did a, a wonderful job at cleaning it up. Okay, all the best, everybody.